Hello guys. So I have um, something new that I am trying. I'm going to try to do it um, probably once every six months or so whenever I feel like doing it. But um, there's something that I'm going to do up until the, I want to say Valentine's Day. Um, because I know, you know, that's the time when everybody's wanting to really, like, know what the heck is going on. Um, all throughout the year, we want to know what the hell's going on. But for some reason, Valentine's Day is, like, that time when we feel like, you know, love is in the air and it may stir some feelings or what have you. But anyway, the special is that I am going to do a two-question live call on special for $40 okay and what that means is that um, you guys go directly to the PayPal and you pay for the reading you give me your information but along with your information you also give me um, your phone number because I will contact you but I'm gonna be calling from um, a private number so I definitely need your phone number um, also what else was I gonna say these are gonna be very very uh, short because of course they are questions there are two questions however long it takes me to answer your two questions um, and I don't foresee it taking longer than I'm gonna say five or ten minutes so also when you do that when you do purchase it you'll need to go ahead and um, make sure you email me after you purchase the reading so we can go ahead and set up a time for you because I do not want um, I don't want to overlap so you know it's not going to be the regular seven days out it's going to be whatever time I send you back to schedule your um, live telephone reading and if you know if you've been on the site you'll know that um, there's not very often that I do telephone readings and um, they're 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 kind of up there because I generally don't do those because I have a lot of things going on so um, and, and so that's the reason why I'm also doing like the questions and not just like a 30 minute reading I'm strictly doing questions okay so if you guys are interested in that go ahead and um uh hit your girl up so that's what i have for you and we'll get to the reading hello aries let's see mid month for you guys eight of wands fell out there i just did leo's reading and um they were moving forward with someone getting somewhere with someone before. Is that you? <laughs> I think you guys are like steamrolling right now. Sagittarius energy is like I feel excitement in the air. Um, anxious about something here. I don't feel like oh you see like these cards. This is a vice versa tarot by the way. So. Regardless of how the cards come out, there's going to be an image, okay? Let's see. What is going on with Aries for the remainder of the month? Seven of Pentacles. Huh. There's an investment. There's waiting. But I think you've planted something here and you're waiting to see if it's going to produce what you are expecting for it to produce this is Taurus energy here but there's also this sense of waiting to get something that you feel like um, you guys have worked really hard for you poured your blood sweat and tears into something here what's crossing my Aries what's crossing Aries Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles with her back turned. Huh. 
I, I feel like there not only have you poured your blood, sweat, and tears into something, but for some of you, I'm feeling like you're tired of waiting on something or someone. You're tired. And, and feeling like, you know, you almost want to turn your back on it. Very earthy energy. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this is about your finances. This is all about stability um, in your home. This is about, um, you know, investments here. What is the underlying issue here for Aries? Look at the tower. There's two people falling out this tower right here. Hmm. This definitely could be about a Taurus, Scorpio energy. These people are flaming, like they're on fire. There's instability here. And this is either in your relationship in your home, but there is definitely a crack in the foundation. There's a crack in a foundation here. And I'm trying to figure out like where like what the fallout is about. I feel like a lot of you guys have really been waiting on someone. But that someone um it is and I know a lot of you are probably not gonna want to hear this, but that someone, if you're waiting on someone, um there's still, I feel like, some instability there. There's still um some anger here in this situation. Like this situation is not right. <laughs> it's not right for the picking, okay? currently um and if you're thinking about not waiting around any longer i think that's a great idea okay because as soon as you decide that you're gonna walk away and gonna leave this shit alone you know what a lot of times here they come but if you're concentrating on it, if you are um, steady putting your energy, your time into something, then it's almost like watching a phone and waiting on it to ring. It never does, you know. Let's see. What's going on in the recent past for Aries? A lot of cards right here. Oh, gosh. All right. The Empress. Hmm. Okay. And then we have the Six of Cups. And then we have the Five of Wands. There's some fighting that went on here. But, um, I feel like these people are like huh fighting over something there's a volcano in the background here and it's like desert here um, I feel like there's like a continuous eruption that was happening between the two of you um, there was a beginning of something something that got off on the right foot um, it had a lot of potential to grow into something that was um, could have been very very special definitely a soulmate type of energy but it was a lot of I feel like um, ups and downs a lot of ups and downs with this person. Leo, Scorpio. Energy here. I feel like Taurus and Libra is here as well. I, I mean, I see Taurus is clearly here. Um, 
but this this I feel like this was like a situation where you were like on an emotional roller coaster with this person. I feel like too this is somebody that you have some really deep connections with. This is somebody that um, uh, I don't think you just met this person. I think this is somebody that you've known for a while. Maybe you guys have been together before, broke up, got back together. Um, but you know when it's good, it, when it was good, it was good. When it was bad, it was horrible. It's that type of situation. Crowning thoughts for Aries. <clears throat> Look at this. The Emperor. The Emperor. I do feel like there are some male Aries here as well. But um, this is yin and yang here. But this, this Emperor has their back turned. And... Um, I feel like that fire is still burning. I don't feel like, um, I feel like you guys want to give up the fight. Because you see this King of Pentacles has their back turned as well. I feel like you guys are ready to throw in the towel. Um, whatever it is that you felt for this person, I feel like it's burning out. I feel like you you are not really holding that torch anymore for this person. I think they're still here, of course. They're still on your mind, but I don't think it's to the extent that um, you know you you'll just go all in for them like you have before in the past. I don't I don't get that. What's coming in for Aries? And then we have the Six of Swords. Um, this is moving on. This is moving on. But I feel like this is more so coming back into something, though. I feel like there's going to be a like a um, a reunion here. There's going to be a reunion here, but there are a lot of hurt feelings still, but there's a lot of love here as well. A lot of respect, a lot of, um, a lot of history is what I'm feeling with this Aquarius energy here, but there's a lot to talk about with you and this person. You guys have a lot to discuss, a lot to discuss, but there's definitely, um, I feel like there's a new beginning, a possible new beginning. If you can talk about things, I feel like that there is, um, I feel like there's hope here. There's definitely hope here. How is Aries viewing this situation? Hmm. We have the this page of cups. Your back is like turned. Your back is turned from the situation. I think you're exhausted. I think you're exhausted and I think you're looking for other um, <laughs> I don't know why avenue of escape came to mind, but I, I think you know this situation has moved, has crept along uh, too long and too slowly for you, and it's like you know you'd rather face the unknown than to face this bullshit again. Is what I'm feeling coming from you guys, honestly. Okay, I think you are just like kind of over this situation I think you still care for this person but I think that it's it's just too much for you to continue to hold on to what is the influence here for Aries this person does not want you to move on though. that is a thing this person wants to keep you drawn in to this situation and I 
think that if they come back and they come back the right way, I think that um, a lot of you guys will go into a situation with this person again. Influence for Aries. Ten of Wands. And I say you were tired. And I think this is a rodeo that um, you frequented a lot. <laughs> and I think, you know, you're tired of the same old, same old. It's like, you know, I always come back. I always get um, exhausted and drawn into the drama. And and I'm kind of tired of it. I, I want a new start. Sagittarius energy. Hmm. Hopes or fears for Aries. Then we have the Knight of Swords. This is going out. This is going out of the reading. Knight of Swords um, is able to say exactly what's on their mind. And is not willing to allow people to silence them, you know, to quiet them, to quiet their voice, to to temper whatever it is that they want to say. No. Mm -mm. Your hope is to continue to move forward and um, be able to, you know, speak your truth. Be honest with yourself and others, you know. Say what it is that you have to say. And move on. Somebody does not want you to move on. I can tell you that. And that is a given. Okay. Oh, okay. Look at this shit. Four of Wands. Spun out the deck. This is the other side of it. Happy and together. But this is the other side of it, the side that it came out on. Hmm. I just feel like this is your card that I don't know if, you know, you guys are going your separate ways. Or if this is you actually, you know, going off into the sunset with them. I feel for a lot of you, this is you like going out into the world and um, getting your own happiness. Quite possibly with someone else. <clears throat> but again, this is somebody that you have this history with for a lot of you. And this may be you guys getting together and um, because I see right here, this person does not want you to leave. They do not. I can tell you that. Um, they are holding on to you energetically. If you can see, there's a cup in the hand of the female in the boat. That's a new beginning. You being drawn back in. But you're tired of being on this roller coaster ride of being up, being down, being happy one minute, being sad, um, getting along and arguing. I mean, you know, it's like constant duality with this person, but you have history with them. And I see your torch not burning. You're not holding a torch for them like you used to is the thing. You guys could very well end up together, but you not feel the same. It's what I was getting at before. You could go off with them into the sunset or you could very well go off with someone else. A lot of you, I see you uh, possibly being with this person, but just not feeling the same about this person. Um, not being all in like you used to, you know. So, yeah. And um, I see Aquarius here as well. So that's what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.